guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this video, I'm actually going to be covering something that recently happened to me back on the Lone Star Rally a couple weeks back. Uh, the video footage that you guys are about to see is something that I didn't add on the other one, uh, solely because I want to talk about this one. And it's something that happened to me that I'm pretty sure it's happened to other bikers and, and other fellow uh, drivers. Uh, so let's get right into it. So I'm going to go ahead and set the stage. Uh, Christina and I just got off the ferry and we were going down uh, the seawall. And as you go down the seawall during this time, the vendors tend to take the lanes and merge them into one. And then they channel everybody to go down toward the strand. I think it was like on 18th Street or something like that. All the way down to the strand and then they channel all the bikes over there and do whatever. All right, fine. So that was my goal is to go over there and actually get video footage of all those bikes during the day before the night nighttime comes. And I was planning on staying that night, but you know, the, the turn of events kind of changed my opinion. Uh, so anyway, I'm, I'm in the left lane. I pull around this car and I get in front of him and I come to a stop so I can turn on my GoPro. And as I go to turn on my GoPro, I feel my, my bike being pushed forward. And it, neighbor dude uh, I feel my bike being pushed forward and uh, forcefully and it's not another bike it's the car behind me he has run into the back of my bike with his car and he is pushing me down the road and mind you I only went about maybe two or three feet but still that's a lot um, so when I realized what was happening I hit my horn he didn't he didn't hear it but by the time the camera turns on I had revved my bike and that's what got his attention and he stopped pushing my my bike with his car and uh, the following uh, part of this video is uh, what ended up happening so let's go ahead and play that video footage You pushed my bike, dude. You hit me. Go, go, go. Hop off the bike. Dude, you, you hit my bike, bro. Dude, you pushed into my bike. Seriously? Are you not paying attention? You got a billion bikes around here, and I got one right in front of you, and you hit it, of all the bikes. We're not going more than three miles an hour, and you still hit my bike. Are you serious? Do you realize how pissed off I am? Seriously, dude. Get off your phone. I saw you on the phone. Get off your phone. I can repair this, but get off your phone. This is bike week. Everybody's here to have a good time. But being on your phone, in a, being on your phone in a situation like this with all these bikes, not a good idea, dude. Not a good idea. I'm gonna let this slide. I'm not gonna jump your shit anymore, but do me a favor and promise me. I will. That you're not going to be on the phone. We can't, we can't have to see this. Because I'm cool. These guys, they're not going to be cool. They would rip you out of your car and beat the crap out of you because of this. I'm cool, and I'm not going to do that. Okay? Now, please. No problem. Drive safe. Get off your phone. And be careful. Thank you. Okay? Thank you. Unbelievable. Get off your phone.
Are you okay? Yeah. All right. And there you have it, folks. Guy ran into the back of me, and uh, ultimately he uh, he made me very angry because he did that. But at the same time, I was in the spotlight, and I didn't want other people to get the wrong impression that bikers are hot-headed, you know, and, and we will just go and straight fighting and stuff. But again, I felt as though I handled the situation the right way at the time. Um, not to mention I had people with their cell phones out, you know, you know, taking video and stuff. And I didn't want that being posted all over YouTube that, you know, biker beats the crap out of guy because he ran into him while being on the cell phone or something like that, <laughs> some article. Um, but no, I, uh, I want to set a good example for bikers everywhere. Um, that, you know, not all of us are hot-headed, some may be, but not all of us are. Most bikers are actually really cool. Um, but uh, that's how, again, that's how I felt uh, that I should have handled the situation. Uh, now, if you guys don't mind, tell me how you guys would have handled that situation. Would you have handled it differently? Would you have done it about the same as I did? What would you do in a situation like this? So, um, comment down below and, uh, and let me know. Well, that's pretty much going to be a, a wrap for uh, this evening's video. Uh, probably the, the next one coming up is going to be like Squeaky Clean Part 2 or something. Because <laughs> this bike is absolutely filthy. And uh, it, it needs some attention, so... Uh, if you guys happen to like the content of this video, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, don't forget to hit your post notifications up in the top right hand corner of your screen. And as always, I appreciate you guys sticking around for another episode of SB Cruiser. I'll see you guys in the next one. Good night.